What's up, my angels? My bad. The video decided to cut short on me. I look mad dark. I need to figure out what I can do to fix this light and then make it focus on me more. But what I was saying was, I'm kind of glad that he reminded me of why um, he's my ex. And because I can't be messing with these guys for a very, very major reason. And I don't want to be selfish, you know, like I'm being made happy, but I can't make them happy or please them and give them what they want and stuff like I'm, not, I'm a fair person. And to be honest, I'm bad anyway. So I just, well, I don't put myself in no boxes and no categories and no titles and none of that. But I mean, if you wanted to describe, I, the only way I can describe it is that I'm bad. And that's only because. Well, it's, it's two different reasons why I like, it's differently reasons why I like everything that I like. It's not the same, for the same reasons. So, I've been with a female before. She broke my heart more than any guy had ever has. But that's because in a lesbian relationship, you tend to fall in love way, 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 way quicker than you do in a straight relationship. And that's not even just on one side, because even if a girl falls quickly in a straight relationship, usually it's not mutual. Whereas in a lesbian relationship, it tends to happen that way and it tends to be mutual. But the problem is with my situation was I got with somebody who had been recently hurt and recently hurt by somebody I knew and somebody who we have a lot of similarities in the way we look. So I was just supposed to be her, what you call it? What's the word when you get out of a relationship and you get with somebody else just to make yourself feel better? I know it, but I can't. I just can't think of it right now. But that's what I was to her initially. And then she started falling in love, which she wasn't expecting to do. And so she decided she needed to figure out a way to ruin it. To save herself, I guess. And she broke my heart. She probably broke her own heart too. Because she really needed to find closure. And she just kept coming back at me until she got what she called her closure. And that's been the end of that. I haven't seen her in person since then. I miss the babies. Because I was like, we were living together, really. I had my own place, but I was still living with her. I was staying at her place. I was never at my place. And I was helping to take care of her babies. They were my babies. And that just got ended like that, which I don't feel is right. I feel like that's selfish to the kids and to me. But it's really about the kids, like... That ain't right. That's just not right. You don't do that. But what can I do about it? That was her choice on how she want to handle that with her kids. And they were my babies too, so I miss them. So, ooh, I can't them. But I've been in a relationship with a girl, and I just decided I wasn't going to do that no more for that reason. But also because... 
I grew up Jehovah's Witness, and of course, that is a definite no-no. And so, all throughout my youth, I was already lesbian, if you want to put it in a category. But I just didn't realize it because I wouldn't allow myself to realize it because I was taught that it was just definitely wrong and I would, it was sinning against God. And that's something I just didn't want to do. So I just wouldn't even let myself get in that headspace. And I was even like, I would even threaten the, the idea of a female coming at me in that type of way. Like, you come at me like that, I'm going to blah, blah, blah. And it was really because I just won't allow, allow myself to think of myself in that direction because I just felt like it was wrong and I didn't want to live wrong. So it took a whole lot for me to get comfortable in the relationship with my ex-girlfriend. And it it got deep because I was like right before she made me break up with her. Well, and I say she made me break up with her. That'd be another story time too. But right before that happened, I was really ready to like, I wanted to marry her. That's how I love her I was. I wanted to marry her. And I told her that. And apparently she wasn't ready for that. So we broke up. And then I think she went on to try to force herself to be straight. And it didn't happen. Hold on. People make a mad noise in the hallway. But yeah, she tried to force herself to be in a straight relationship to please her mom. And that didn't work so she in another state and I, I don't think she happy but anyway like I, what I was getting getting back to where I started I feel like it's a good thing that he reminded me of what he reminded me of was because it maybe I do need to be with a girl I mean I still like girls I just chose not to pursue it or to act on it but I'm loving this ponytail. I'm feeling myself. <laughs> but um, I look cute. Bow. But anyway. <laughs> but anyway, so I just feel like maybe I should be with a girl. Because I don't want to be, I don't want to be alone for the rest of my life. But I'm scared to be with a guy. That's, I'm about to do that story time. I ain't going to do it today. Because I ain't about to kill my day with that. But. I'm going to do that story time so y'all can, because I know y'all are going to definitely be like, what? But yeah, I'm really feeling like I don't have no other option. Hold on. Happy birthday. Thank you. I'm doing my vlog, so. Oh, y'all want to be on my vlog? Mm -hmm. You don't want to be on my vlog? But anyway, so yeah, I'm starting to feel like I can might as well just go ahead and yeah, because yeah, y'all gonna understand when I do that story time. Because it's, it's deep, y'all. And with the way it is now, it's just not gonna work. It's not. And I'm gonna leave that at that because I really it's making me want to go ahead and you know, but I I really want to explain it and get get let y'all really understand why, cause so it can make sense. Cause it's just, it's just what it is with my life right now, and ain't nothing I can do about it. So, but anyway, that's my hair. What y'all think about my hair? How I do? I don't usually wear these ponytails and stuff, but I'm feeling myself right now. I'm feeling like the short, slightly less bootylicious Beyonce. Actually, I'm actually kind of bootylicious right now, for real. I'm actually kind of bootylicious right now. I done got my booty up. I ain't never had, my booty ain't never been this big. Ever, ever, ever. But it is now. But anyway. That's the end of part two, point one. <laughs>
Sorry that it got cut into two videos, but all right, we about to go on to part three. Love y'all. Stay in touch. Oh, go down and like this video. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so y'all won't miss nothing. I'm telling y'all, you slip if you want to, you're going to miss some stuff. But anyway, love y'all.